It's the eighth today, isn't it? Uh -huh. This is day four for the puppies, isn't it? Uh -huh. Day four in the morning. Uh, we did a video, the last video, we, we weighed them. Everybody was gaining weight nicely. So today is DNA day. This is the day. So sometime between day three and day five is time to think about doing DNA. So we use animal genetics. They're not the only game in town. We use animal genetics. Um, and what you've got to do is you've got to send us some DNA material off for the, to do this. It takes about a week after they've got it to get your DNA results. And they charge typically $40 a test or $130 for a complete coat color analysis. And that's what we're going to do. Now, I think this is important. Look, if you know your DNA on your puppies because of the parents, then maybe you don't need to do any of this. Or maybe you only need to test for one or two items. But I think it's very important that, um, that you are selling your dogs with knowing what the DNA is. You don't want to have somebody buy a dog from you and you tell them it's a lilac dog, when in fact it's not. Or conversely, you don't want somebody to pick up a blue dog when in fact it was a lilac and he was potentially worth more money. So the secret to this is to do a DNA test. Now, Tammy, I've got a confession to make. She's not smiling. Did you know that you're married to a nerd? Oh, it's God. <laughs> I wear that the badge. first day I met Actually, you. <laughs> you know, it's worse than that. I'm not only a nerd, I'm a geek too, by the way. I'm both I a geek. I'm the first day I met you. I'm a geek and a nerd, and I wear that badge proudly. And it's fared me very well over the years. You're a mathlete too. <laughs> I'm also a mathlete. So I want to you show something off here. You've got a personality. I got something off here. <laughs> that, uh, this is a suture kit, and this is how you learn to do sutures. And so uh, I bought this on Amazon for about, I think, 40 bucks here about a year ago and you get the various things that you'd need to do what we're gonna to do today, which is hardly anything. The, actually, the only thing you need today is actually just some uh, uh, artery forceps. But I just wanna show this off because the first off, you can learn how to suture, and you can see here some attempts at doing some suturing. You get this fake piece of skin that you get to practice sutures on. Why, are you thinking about doing C-sections? No. <laughs> well, no, but the point here okay. is, look, the point here is, is that, um, the kids had so much fun with this at Christmas time. Yes. It teaches them about things that maybe they want to be later on in life, like doctors and, and, and assistants yeah. and vets and vet techs. Uh -huh. And it taught me how to do sutures. And I've used uh -huh. this. I've had a dog that had a problem with an umbilical hernia a long time ago. Oh, and that we, was when we had labs. When we had labs. I was able to oh, suture. Oh, I remember that because it's little intestines. It's inside coming out. Second. And we did sutures on that, that dog. That was like 30 years ago. Well, it wasn't quite that long ago. It was when Chelsea was probably about 15. So it was probably about 18 years ago. But either way. But the point here is. Longer than that because we've been doing Frenchies. Okay. We weren't doing Frenchies well, we'll, then. We always listen to your wife. So 30 years yes. ago. But I think the point here is is um, learning about all this stuff is, is not only fun, you can show it to your kids and your grandkids. They can have fun with Look, you remember the name, uh, what was it called, surgery or surgeon? Where it went, if you didn't keep it in the lines? Oh, yeah. The this is a hell doctor, of a lot. The doctor game. Yeah, this is so much better than surgeon. This is a I real... I remember the name of that, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is the real deal. You actually get to be a surgeon. Now... But it doesn't buzz at you. No, it doesn't buzz at you. But I, I want... Well, but the puppy screams if you get it wrong, or, it doesn't, or your patient doesn't live. But the point here... Well, I want to point something else out here. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medical professional. And anything that we tell you... You take it on your own back is yeah. remember that this is, don't come around to complain to us if we told you, we Well, these days and times, if you injure yourself, oh, you don't want to go hey, to the emergency room, get, there you go. You go on a field trip. Because of COVID. And somebody gets a bad cut. <laughs> yeah. You might be able to literally save their life yeah. just by having played around with this. You will yeah. not do yeah. any serious damage to somebody. Yeah. So I, I just pointed this out because we were going to use a little bit of this, but I just want to point out that... Uh, to be skilled in various different things yeah, to do with dogs yeah. just makes sense. Especially, you don't want to be running to the emergency room these days and times. No, no. and it's fun too, folks. It's fun, I and mean, you get to practice on something. And the kids, I mean, I've got eight-year-old kids who are sewing up things at Christmas time, having a giggle with it. All right, so enough of that. So what are we doing today? We are yes. going to do a test. So what we're going to do is you've got three ways that you can get this done. You can order for free of animal genetics swab tests, swabs kits. comes like this in the mouth, swab the dog. You can only do that when the dogs are about six weeks old or older. They've and got make to be, sure they're not nursing on mama. Can't be nursing on mum, right. Yeah. Six weeks or older to do that. It's very, very simple. If you've got adult dogs, that's just the simplest way to do it. All right, so what's the next way you do it? You cut the claw, the claw one of the claws slightly the short. Claw. Oh, you, yeah. Yeah, the claw slightly short. And you collect a little make bit of blood yeah. onto a Q-tip. You cut the Q-tip off and you send that off. Well, guess what? We today 
had got little Frenchies, his mama down here. You see, mama? Imagine that, we've got new little litter. Yes, mama, mama's such a good mama. Born January 4th. Let's see, let's take one of your babies from me, mama. You want, mama, we'll unplug one of these. Oh, oh, this is getting you. Oh, there we go. So here we go, mama doesn't mind. She knows we're not gonna do any harm. All right, so, so the other way that you do this, uh, and by the way, just while we're here, we'll just weigh this guy. We weighed this guy last night. It's last, a girl. This is, yeah, the cream girl weighed 11.8 yesterday. Today she weighs 12.8. She's put an ounce on overnight. God, what solid little puppies. I know. So, Mama's milk is just so good. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove both dew claws. Here's the dew claw right here. So that's the dew claw. Now, people are going to complain. They're going to say this is cruel. Yep. Look, do this if you want to. If you don't, don't Get do it. Get off of the paper. There's the dew claw. She's gonna do more squirming than she will actually do crying when I do this. There's the dew claw. Typically, dogs don't have dew claws You're on the back. You're warming your hands so she'll calm down. Yeah, on the back legs. Um, Usually they scream because you're holding them yes. down tight. People are gonna complain because they say I'm not wearing gloves. I can't wear gloves for this because I'm gonna use my nail to wipe the dew claw off. Right. Don't cut them with a pair of scissors or a knife. They will bleed like a oh stuck pig. My. yeah. This puppy will hardly bleed at all. But what do you need? You need some alcohol. Okay. They're on that little rag that I set there. No, that rag. Thank you. You need it. You need. Um, <clears throat> this has got alcohol on it. Yeah. Right. Okay. So you we wipe. need more. Yeah. We're just going to wipe here, off. Here. Here. Okay. More. I like to soak it down in alcohol. What Tammy wants me to do is she wants me to clean it in where we're going to remove the dew floor to right. get it nice and clean. All right. So before you start this. You of want to make the up some little. Scissors are already done, or the hemostats are already done. Yeah, you want to you want to get yourself some little paper pouches, not plastic. They want them in paper. I guess it keeps preserves the DNA better. You want to get. We've got five dogs. I've labeled them one, two, three, four, five. And on the form, I've written down one, two, three, four, five. And the boy is one. The swirl girl, one with the swirl on her head, is two. Freckles is three. The cream girl, this one is four. The blue and tan is five. You need to fill this out so that you, when you get the results back, that you can make no, darn who's sure. Is who? <laughs> that, yeah, you need to know who's who, because otherwise it's a complete waste of time. And you just spend quite a bit of money. So it's very important that you get this part right. Yes. And make a little pouch where three sides are closed up. Make sure they're closed up on each side that you use. Yes, yeah, so even the little hole, they can fall out, right? Oh, yeah. And then you, they'll fall on the, two of them fall on the table, and they're like, oh, which dog was that? Yeah. So don't make it, otherwise you, you know. You sound like a voice of experience. Yeah. <laughs> well, my fault. We managed to figure it out. No, but seriously, you want to get this right. So just little attention to detail, slow and methodical wins the race. Yeah. So, you know, you've got some information to fill out here. Litter number, registration. All of this is completely irrelevant. You can put in whatever you want. The important part about this is, is that you've got your phone number, name, and email on this. That's it. That you've identified the dogs. You've told them what okay. test you want to have done. I'll hold her. I've got it. And that you've uh, and that you've told, given your credit card number and printed the bottom off. I mean, this is obvious, right? You can just print this off animalgenetics.com, right? UC Davis, they're good. Vet Gen, taking too long to get results. Embark, I don't like the way they show results. It's probably because I'm not used to it, but I really like Animal Genetics. They've been very, very good over the years. They can make mistakes, but they're far and few between. And if there's a problem and you know it, they'll retest for you. All right, so here we go. First guy. Can I have the puppy? Girl. Girl. Yes. First girl. Keep her warm. So, Tammy, I want you to get right in here so we can see what I'm doing. Okay. I've got to stabilize this girl. She's going to scream when I first clamp it. But here's a dew claw, and I want to clamp it behind it. Can you get a good view of that? Right. I, I, I right. would normally get this done in a few seconds, but I want you to see me do this. There's the dew claw. I've got to get the hemostats behind the dew claw. Then I'm going to clamp it, and it, it clips, and I pull it off. That's it. Yeah. There's the dew claw. You see the whole yes. dew claw right there. Yes. Got the whole thing. If you don't get the whole thing, don't go back and do it again. Just go on to the next one. It'll be fine. Now, what's the wound look like? There it is. Oops. Not even... There it is right oh, there. Oh, you couldn't there. see it. There it is right there. Just, uh, well... Nothing. I mean, nothing, nothing that's going to yeah. hurt anything. Well, don't add that. It'll start yeah. a section on it. So that. just, we're going to check it here in a little bit to make sure it's not bleeding. But it's not bleeding. And there's the dew claw. It is that easy. And yeah. I promise you. See people, how tiny that dew claw is? Yes. Yes. People will complain about what I'm doing here. And I mean, look, complain all you want to. Yeah. Not hurting my dog. 
Done and this many AKC shows accept it. Yep, you, yep, absolutely nothing wrong you don't with that. Don't have to worry about yep, that if you're yep, having a show yep, dog. Yep, we've got we're a little bit of blood here, just a tiny little bit of blood yeah, here, yeah. but nothing, nothing. Well, that's and look, because you put the paper towel on it. She's happy as a clam. I'm going to do the mm -hmm. second one. She's not going to like the second one either. No, because. But remember, she this knows is. Going to hold her down. If you do this between day two and five, it's very soft. There's no cart. It's just cartilage. It's not a bone. You can't wow. do this later on without major surgery. So here we go. Here's. I haven't even done anything yet. I haven't even done anything yet. I got a neck. Yeah. Is a problem. Clamp. Oops, I'm not doing very good. She's, she's wiggling around on me. Cut. There it is. Good. Got it. Good. She wriggled on me a little bit. As she yeah, kind of... but she actually didn't squeak no. after you. No. Let her... There it is. Yes. So that, we'll do one more after this just to show you how it is. But what we're going to do now is we're going to pop this little girl in the incubator. Oops. Ooh. We've got the girl in the incubator. Just so that she can be, I can just keep an eye on her for five minutes just to make sure it's all good. We'll do one more. Who wants to be next? Gee, Good Bella, girl. do you want to be next? Say no. No. Oh, there's a big fat one right here. Oh, okay. Who did we get here? Did we get the boy? We did. We get the boy. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. So what he weighed, let's don't weigh him just for the heck of He weighed 14.7. He was the biggest boy okay. yesterday night. I'm trying to get I mean, the alcohol on No, this. by the way, before I mess up here. You know. Cream girls, num number four. Going out of order. Number four is the cream girl. Okay, number four number on four, your paperwork. Number four, which is going to be that one there. Mm -hmm. Number four. So these two little things get popped in here. I got him. They're both in here. Keeping warm. And uh, I'm going to put a piece of tape on it. Don't put them in a plastic bag. Mm -mm. You can put these in the fridge. If you're not sure what you're going to do on DNA, you can put them in the fridge for a week. And there it is. That's ready to get sent off with the form. Mm -hmm. Right, we're going to do the boy. Okay, you gonna weigh him? Yes, let's weigh him. Okay. Yesterday he weighed. Okay, scoot the bow back. Fourteen point seven. Oh, I know, Granny Jackman. I gave you kisses. I, I know, I gave you kisses. Fifteen point two. It's a big boy. Fifteen point two. Yes, Put on yes. half an ounce in overnight. Fifteen point two. Mommy's milk is just fantastic. Fifteen point two. Yeah. All right, good. Okay. So look at this, I've already screwed up. That was number four, wasn't it? Yes, number four. I've already got a hole in my little bag. Because oh. there's a dew claw right there. Okay. So where's the little hole? Maybe you thought you put it in there and didn't? It sure looks like it. Mm -hmm. So, look, I'm just gonna take care of that just a little bit. We're not gonna waste your time with this. We're just gonna yep. keep that. But look, this is important because if you make a mistake like I was about to make, they only need one duke call, they don't need two. Yeah, but, but uh, just in case, yeah. Well, just, just don't get it mixed up. There. Just don't get it mixed up. Don't okay. have a pile of duke claws here and don't know who's is who. All right, let me have that go. Boy. Boy. I'm the boy. Did you don't wipe him down with some alcohol? No. Here you go. A little bit of alcohol. Thank you. Boy number two. Boy number one. Boy number one. Sorry. Yes. There's number one. I had enough coffee Ticket. yet today. Okay. So he's he knows something's up. I'm just not handling it very well. But I've got to have good... So what I like to do is have good control of everything so that I can wipe it off. So here we go. So it's a pinch and a cut. And there it is on my okay. finger. Okay, you got your thumb on his neck. And it, well, I've got to stabilize him. I know, So but it's much easier if you've got somebody to hold the puppy for you. Well, we're getting hung up on No, you're fine. We'll get it done. We've done this enough time. Look, when you do this the first time, we recommend that you have somebody here to help you. So here comes puppy number two. I mean, excuse me, do claw number two. Plant, pull, done. There it is. I know, honey. There it is, two deep claws. Okay, there we go. There we go. You just scream because on the back. Honestly, boy. just, I mean, you'd think that this, I mean, if I cut your thumbs off with a pair of bolt cutters, you'd have just be, you know, you'd be very upset, but it's not the case. This is just a little bit of soft tissue. It's not a deep cut. And uh, don't do it with scissors. Do it with your no. thumbnail. And if you're not comfortable doing it, go to your vet and have it done. Or don't do oh, it. It's just minor money. But know, the other ways you can prick their the paw with a needle, they hate that. Oh, yeah. They hate that. Mm -hmm. They hate that if you prick their paw with a needle. They do not like that at all. Yeah. But so make problem. sure you get these done at least, you know, three to day five. Day three, day four. Five. Yeah, day Don't seven. Go over day, day seven, you're definitely yeah. late. I mean, I've had people call me and say, "Hey, you probably better can have do your it. vet do it if you." Well, well what I say seven. is, if somebody says, "Should I? Can I do it?" It's day seven. I say, "Just do one claw." 
first and make sure it's all okay. Don't just start whacking claws off and having a problem. Just do one and see how that goes. Put him with his sister. Okay. Okay. So now what are you gonna do? So now we're just gonna briefly Put his talk. claw in there so you yes, don't forget you. it. Thank you, thank you. Little thumbs. There you go. Two dew claws down in there. And I got them both down in there. There we okay, go. Okay. I'm gonna put a piece of tape on it. Here it is. Now make sure there's not a hole like the other no, one. No, we're good, we're good. Okay. So basically, put it on your record. I don't know quite what yeah. we're going to do here yet. We're going to test for more on the cream. By the way, on the test from Animal Genetics, a complete coat color is 130 bucks. They do have coupons out twice a year that bring it down to 95 bucks. So sometimes it's worth waiting a little bit. They typically come out in the spring and the, the fall. Um, sometimes, if you have the time. Yes, well, we don't right. have the time, so we've got no. to pay full boat. With a complete coat color test, you don't get a coat length test. You don't get a moral test, and you don't get an intensity gene test on Frenchies. So if you want those three, that's another 40, 40, 40 bucks on top yeah. to do all those. But on our cream girl, we're gonna do the moral test because cream covers cream. everything. That's right. We're gonna do moral on here, and we'll mm -hmm. probably do a complete coat color on the other ones. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna test for the long hair gene because we know everybody's got a copy of it. Mm -hmm. There's no point doing it. Yeah, right. because daddy is our Love My Denali, full visual fluffy male. Yes, He's okay. got like a triple coat. Okay. <laughs> if you ask me. So let's just see how these puppies are doing now. I'm just going to unplug this. And put this. this is our portable incubator, by the way. Love these things. It's fantastic. Look at that. Yep, just a little bit of spot blood. Yeah, a few little spots. And they're just happy campers now. Mm -hmm. Let's quickly take a look here and see if everybody looks okay. And look, there's a little bit of blood on his chest, but that's just from the, it's, it's obviously okay. That one's leaking a little bit. We're going to put a little bit of pressure on yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh sorry. This one here's already scabbing up. All right, so there we go. We just put a bit of pressure on that for a few minutes and it'll be fine. Okay, that's it. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching our videos. And, uh, MyBreedersSupply.com and yep. www.LoveMyPups. And for babies, 580-799-1910. And we'll be doing more videos of the babies later today. Yes. Bye, everybody. Bye. Stay safe.